Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. This is going to be an extremely fast update. Wade last night updated the GVD Discord in the Pocket 2 channel, showing off this new render uh, of what the compromise that he's made with regard to the feedback he received and not having a mouse input on the Pocket 2. So right over here you can see along the touch bar, these were the original buttons and this is now the new uh, inclusion to it. This is an optical touchpad, so it's like the nub, but it is optical alone, so it's not a physical thing that you're moving around. You're just going to be kind of sliding your, your finger around or moving it uh, slowly. As I understand it, this is very sensitive, has a high resolution, so you won't be moving your, you shouldn't need to use your, move your finger around all that much. One thing that I'm curious about, um, because the left and right mouse buttons are over here, it sort of indicates that you kind of need to use both of these at the same time. So it will, it will require two hands realistically to operate this mouse. Is there a method for the optical touchpad where you can just tap it like a laptop touchpad to uh, have a left click go through? This way you, you can keep your left hand at the keyboard and just use your right hand over here. I don't know. I've asked, I haven't received any word back yet if that operates like that. Um, these, I believe we already got feedback on that they are not touch buttons. They are actually going to be physical buttons, so they will have uh, physical tactility to them. So you should have responsive feedback knowing that you clicked on them. Um, this, however, will be, um, there won't be any feedbacks per se because it's just going to be using light to distinguish movement. Uh, so that's it. This is, seems to be the only compromise that GBD is willing to make um, because a lot of people had negative input with regard to not having mouse input on the Pocket 2. Uh, there will not be a 360 hinge. There still is no backlit keyboard. Um, all of these, I believe, are in attempts to keep the price down, keep it low, uh, keep it affordable. Um, so basically, it looks like this mouse input along with the touch input is how you'll be using the mouse input. How well this will work in practice, again, I don't know. I've never used anything like this before, so I can't even offer any subjective feedback to that. Um, the other, the interesting thing that it is up here, if you guys can see it, it says 2019 and then some Chinese characters, seven nanometer CPU, Threadripper, 32, this is definitely 32 cores. So this is, I don't know why Wade is looking at AMD Threadripper stuff. I just found that pretty interesting. Um, so that's it. Uh, Victor also helpfully made this little image. So to give you guys an idea of where it would be, it looks like it's decently far enough away from the screen so i don't think it's going to be that bad but again we'll have to see how this operates in practice and i don't have any real input to give you guys at the moment that's just a very quick update thank you guys so much for watching i'll talk to you later